Hi, uh, this is me, Daniel. So, I thought I would do a, a video that I've been wanting to do for a very long time, which was to show off my reformed uh, Blu-ray co collection. And uh, before you ask, uh, what is a reformed collection? Uh, allow me to explain myself briefly. So, in April of last year, so almost an entire year ago, I was in a mental health hospital and uh, without going too in depth, uh, part of the issue was that I, I have this really bad insecurity on, you know, having different tastes on media than other people, you know? And this especially includes movies right here. So what I've been doing for uh, like almost the entire year is I've been trying to watch and uh, add movies and uh, shows that, you know, are uh, representative of my personal tastes. Oh, for the record, uh, all that stuff right up there, that's that's not part of the collection. This is just a backlog of stuff I already have that I'm trying to get through in the future. But yeah, uh, without any further ado, uh, let's get started with the uh, two sets right up here. First off, uh, this is the uh, 50th anniversary set for Monty Python's Flying Circus. Uh, also, uh, rest in peace, Terry Jones. The other one here is, uh, is this weird uh, set for Gumby the Movie, uh, which is essentially uh, having these two discs in this container shaped like Gumby's head. It's rather interesting. And uh, now on to the uh, like main collection here. So uh, the way I organized it is that I put all the official Disney and Pixar movies uh, that I've added in chronological order and except by series and then uh, everything else is in complete alphabetical order. So let's get started. Let's see, first off I have uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Pinocchio, Fantasia and Fantasia 2000. Dumbo, Bambi, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, The Jungle Book, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, The Great Mouse Detective, Oliver and Company, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I know it's not like an official Disney animated movie, but and, and this movie is also based on like a holiday themed attraction at Disneyland and such. So I count that in uh, this part of the collection here. Uh, the Lion King, Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. Uh, before you ask, no, I will not be adding the fourth movie. I saw it once in the theaters and thought it was fine, but it it's a movie that got worse for me the more I thought about it, and I don't honestly want to watch that again. A Bug's Life, uh, my personal favorite Pixar movie. I know some people don't like it, but I, I love it. I think it's fantastic. Uh, Tarzan. The Emperor's New Groove, Monsters, Inc., Cars. A lot of people don't like the first Cars movie. I, I'm not entirely sure why. Like, I get the universe doesn't entirely make sense, but I thought I really appreciated the story setting and characters. So, yeah. Oh, also has really good songs too. Up, and this Steel Book of Coco, which. I'm gonna pull out for a little bit. Looks really nice. Uh, oop, I'll put you up there. Um, and then onto the uh, rest of the collection. The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, The Adventures of Milo and Otis, The Adventures of Robin Hood, Akira Kurosawa's Dreams, really cool art house movie. Uh, one of the few I can actually get into. Uh, Babe, the first one. Uh, Batman, the complete animated series. I only watched the first disc of this, but from what I've seen so far, it's really cool. I need to get, uh, I need to watch more of it. Uh, Batman, the movie based off of the 60s Adam West show. Batman, the Tim Burton 1989 movie. The Big Country, The Biggest Little Farm. Candyman, Carnival of Souls, 
Citizen Kane. If you're not like if you're not into like filmmaking, uh, you're not going to understand the hype that it's like the greatest movie of all time. I more or less just approach it from the perspective that I find it to be uh, an interesting story. Like I don't need to overhype myself on that. Clash of the Titans, the nineteen eighty one version, uh, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Uh, now and on the second row here, the computer wore tennis shoes with a twinkle in his eye. Um, not a great movie, but it's it's one I have fun nostalgia over, and I, it's one I don't mind watching. Uh, Crocodile Dundee one and two, I don't really care to see the second one. I think yeah, I just heard the first one's the best. The Dark Crystal. Hats off to Dr. Seuss, Collector's Edition. Uh, if you don't know, this is a set containing most of the television cartoons based off of uh, Dr. Seuss books like The Grinch, uh, The Lorax, Green Eggs and Ham, uh, The Sneetches, uh, The Cat in the Hat, uh, stuff like that. I gotta say though, the uh, bonus feature cartoons are of really horrible quality. They might even be like worse than DVD surprisingly it's really bad I have no idea what happened there uh, Ammon Honors Jug Band Christmas uh, my favorite Christmas special uh, of all time I know a lot of people consider other specials their favorites but this is mine Fantastic Mr. Fox Fiddler on the Roof Field of Dreams uh, Fraggle Rock uh, the complete uh, series 35th anniversary edition I just watched the entire series for the first time in my life uh, this past uh, January despite watching it as a kid so I felt really rewarded for that and then George Carlin's last two uh, comedy specials uh, life is worth losing and it's bad for you uh, next up is George of the jungle the live action movie based off the 60s cartoon series it's it's dumb fun i love it uh gettysburg gran torino the great dictator uh hard ticket to hawaii <laughs> what a guilty pleasure it has uh like sex nudity hardcore violence and a poisonous snake I mean what what more do you want uh, how the grid stole Christmas starring Jim Carrey this movie's very divisive but I actually really enjoyed it uh, the hunt this is a BBC series narrated by uh, David Attenborough uh, Jason and the Argonauts uh, probably my favorite Ray Harryhausen movie Jeff Dunham arguing with myself spark of insanity all over the map and unhinged at Hollywood. Can you tell I'm a big Jeff Dunham fan? Uh, Joker, my favorite movie that came out last year. I did not expect to enjoy it as much as I did, but yeah, it's weird considering it's kind of out of my comfort zone, but yeah, I I really enjoy that one a lot. Uh, Jumanji, uh, Jurassic Park, The Kid. I think this is the oldest one. Uh, the oldest uh, Blu-ray I have in this collection right now from 1921, so almost 100 years old. That's crazy. Uh, Life, another BBC nature series. Uh, it's Lights Out, uh, based off of uh, David F. Sandberg's short film that was uploaded on YouTube. Really cool horror movie. Uh, Looney Tunes Platinum Collection Volume 1 two and three a lot of great classic funny cartoons I you can't go wrong with them and then there's uh, Looney Tunes back in action uh, not great but it has a lot of fun cartoon energy uh, then there's the Lord of the Rings extended edition trilogy uh, fantastic movies oh my god Marion Max uh, this one is very underrated as far as animated movies go. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, Mighty Joe Young from 1949. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, Monty Python's Life of Brian. Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. 
Mrs. Doubtfire watched it for the first time last year. Really enjoyed that. Uh, the Muppet movie? Ugh. Ooh, my arm is aching. Uh, down to the third row. Uh, the Muppet Christmas Carol. Uh, Muppet Treasure Island and the Great Muppet Caper. The Never Ending Story. Old Boy, the original uh, South Korean movie from 2003, not the uh, crappy looking remake from Spike Lee. Old Yeller, Once Upon a Time in the West, Piglet's Big Movie, Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 1, Planet Earth, The Polar Express, Police Story 1 and 2. Haven't seen the second movie, but the action scene at the end of the first one was fucking insane. Holy crap. Pooh's Grand Adventure. The Prince of Egypt, Ray Harryhausen, Special Effects Titan, this is a documentary. Really cool if you're a fan of the guy's work. And there's a Rear Window, the Rec Collection, uh, containing all four movies. I only watched the first one, but it was really creepy. I need to get around to watching the second one at some point. Uh, Roar, uh, so... I watched this uh, back when I used to be a fan of Ralph the Movie Maker before, you know, he decided to trash on people who enjoyed the Joker in his uh, review a while back. I hate that crap. But anyway, he did a video on this and it really intrigued me and it was fucking crazy. Holy crap. Uh, Samurai Cop? Uh, Santa Claus? Uh, both of these movies are guilty pleasures for me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sometimes it's fun to watch a so bad it's good movie. Uh, the Secret of Nim, The Shining, Shrek, the first one, The Sound of Music, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Stardust, uh, Star Wars, the original trilogy. These are the despecialized editions uh, because that's how I prefer to watch them. Uh, Stuart Little 1 and 2, These Amazing Shadows, the movies that uh, make America a uh, really interesting documentary on uh, involving like uh, the various films that were inducted into the National Film Registry really cool uh, they shall not grow old the Tigger movie Titanic Total Recall the 1990 original uh, Toto live at Montreux I'm sorry if I butchering that name uh, 1991 uh, Toto 35th anniversary concert live in Poland. Toto 40 tours around the sun. Uh, yeah, I I love this band's music a lot. I I love a lot of their songs. Uh, well, Hollywood Super Action Volume One. Uh, this is a set uh, of a couple of Uganda uh, low budget Ugandan action movies, which are. Who Killed Captain Alex in Bad Black. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's very goofy. I, I love it. Uh, check it out if you haven't. I believe Who Killed Captain Alex is free on YouTube if you want to try that. Uh, Wallace and Gromit, The Complete Collection. Uh, this contains all four shorts. And then we have the feature film, uh, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Uh, Wayne's World, I uh, watched this for the first time recently, pretty fun. Uh, let's see, uh, last row, uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, uh, The Wizard of Oz, such a classic movie, can't believe it's over 80 years old right now, it's insane. Uh, Won't You Be My Neighbor, and that is just porn and I don't need to go into detail on that. Uh, but yeah, ugh. yeah, that is it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tour of mine. Uh, let, let me know what you think of my collection here. And in the meantime, thank you for watching. Bye.